We, we kind of so in base was was you know fortunate to be be part of that that movement around four years ago with our partners riot games and and and, e, and the esl basically bringing the first official data offerings to market and with with a with a kind of grand plan around integrity and it's it's just incredible to see you know how esports has its very own challenges in terms of integrity versus um sort of you know the the classic in the traditional space uh, you see that for example riot games in particular it's working with sport Raider integrity kind of from the get-go as they go these guys have a staff of over 100 people that that go deeply into any kind of you know integrity mechanisms that, that you might require that are applied for you know traditionally ip like wimbledon like the football world cup and so on and so forth and then on top of that you know kind of you know the 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 let, let's say that the esports flavor that we've developed with the esl with riot games and so on that that everybody has has, has taken to market from my perspective, you know, uh, uh, esports is is one of the the most well monitored sports in the world right now, and and it's it's really the doing of a few players in the market that have pushed the envelope hard and they've, that that have made this their priority to make sure that esports that is under so much scrutiny in the past is now being being viewed as 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 one of the most secure sports. And I think it's you know whatever people might say these days is more of an image topic rather than a factual kind of shortcoming, so to say.